Brown Secondary School in Worcester has hit the headlines today over a controversial move to place the mirrors in the girls' toilets, replace them with motivational posters about makeup. You can see them there. One of them said, Dear girls, makeup is a harmful drug. Once you start using it, you'll feel ugly without it. Let me give the context to this. Okay. I know that there's some, you know, I know, looking at all your faces, Rest not happy. So what the, <laughs> what they were sort of saying is that a lot of the girls were spending a lot of time um, gathering around the, the mirrors, reapplying their makeup during school. So they decided to put the posters up to give them a slightly different view and to spark debate. The argument is, should they have been put in the toilets? Should they have instead be put in the classroom where it can be a controlled debate about, about makeup? But do you think it was a good idea in the first place be no absolutely not and i don't think it's very positive or motivational for a young a young girl to hear that you might be looking ugly if you don't comply to this i just think that's just sending the wrong message in the school mm. for me myself when i was younger i obviously i grew up in the church and my um, my family there was no makeup there was no jewelry there was mm. no skirts above your knee all of that you know you, and and it was just everything was was covered up so i wasn't I wasn't. Um, I, I didn't have makeup yeah. uh, around me mm. in that did way. Did you cheat so... at school, though, Brenda? No. Did, when you got no. in, did you turn no. your skirt off? No. Oh, oh, no, I was too I, I did a lot of that. I was too oh, fearful yeah. that my grandmother had uh, eyes <coughs> and ears around. So I didn't want to. No, there was no cheating or anything like that. But I, I'm. It's, it was important to me, and I don't know if it's because of the way I was raised. I then said to Tanisha, "You are beautiful inside and out. You've got natural beauty, and I just want you to cherish that and." Look look your age for as long as you can. It wasn't yeah. until I started going on television mm. that I started putting I, I it's, makeup it's, it's for It's quite TV. a different age, though, isn't it? Because although, yes, you'd sneak little things in to put in your face, roll your skirt up, all of that, you kind of got a generation of girls who, who are being compared to not just their own friends but other people mm. online. Mm. And rather than looking at makeup as being a negative thing, it's all like girls are constantly policed at school. Your skirt is too short, you've got too much makeup on. The boys physically aren't... aren't are not other quite as many rules as girls mm. are generally at school. That's a whole different argument. But should we mm. not be talking talking to girls about feeling empowered, feeling beautiful, irrespective mm. of what is on their face? Do you know but what? Shut, sorry, sorry, so far. Yeah, I just I don't think it's I think it's more nuanced than this because I don't think it's fair to say that if you're wearing makeup, you're not empowered, mm. or if you're wearing makeup, you're somehow not yourself. Mm. Because you know, think of girls. I remember when I was a kid, I had really bad acne. I didn't wear makeup. I probably would have liked it. It probably would have made me feel more confident. I don't know if you've got scars or if you've got some sort of... Something that actually is mm. stopping you from feeling like you can really, yeah. you know, be yourself or feel comfortable. So I think there's a nuance there that we need to be careful with. And I would say that with this sort of subject, it'd be kinder to educate about how... Why are you <clears throat> hiding behind makeup? Yes. Why are we, sh you know, perhaps therefore... There's a bit of shaming going on in that, mm, yeah. in that kind of approach, I feel. Mm -hmm. And why can't we educate to say that makeup can be used as a tool to make you feel confident, to make you feel better, but it can't be a crux that you lean on so that you don't know where you are and all of that and yeah. you don't feel comfortable out in your own skin. Absolutely. There's, you know, there's a bit more to it than that, isn't there? I, mm. I just think that, you know, we're living in a world <coughs> where we are in danger of sucking all of the life and the rite of passage out of people and, yo and young people, you know? I think that... You just mentioned there about the comparisons. My favourite quote is, comparison is the thief of joy, which it is. And all these kids spend all their life on Instagram thinking that everybody's life is better, everybody's more beautiful. But at the same time, we've also got to let them have a rite of passage. Of course, you've got to sneak makeup into school. Mm. Of course, you've got to turn your skirt over at the top and be told off by the teacher. And that's boys as well now. Boys wear makeup, you know, at, at, at school as well. And I think, you know, it's... I, I, the word woke is is overused and uh, and whatever, but I think that's such a woke thing to do to put these posters up at school. It but is, it is provoking. It is provoking debate. Is there argument? Well, have makeup lessons at school. Yeah. We spoke about that backstage. I think that would be a great idea. And I also, I do agree with boundaries. I don't think that. You know, young kids should be able to come in with a with a full, full face of makeup as if they're going out because mm. there would be other children there who can't afford makeup who mm. can't. And do you, you, do know, you wear makeup all the time? Do I? Yeah. No, I don't. I don't wear makeup. I mean, I always used to think, thank God I'm not a bloke because the thought of being a bloke and just washing your face and having to go out like that, you know, no way. <laughs> also, I was brought up in a house of makeup because my dad was a drag act.
So when you've got a dad called Raquel who walks down the stairs <laughs> in full makeup and your mother does him up, my mother also used to live her life by the Elizabeth Taylor method. You'd see her at one o'clock in the morning with her eyeliner like this. I'd go, where are you going? She'd go, I'm going out tomorrow. Liz Taylor used to put her eyes on at night. <laughs> sit, sit like this with her eyes. So I had no chance of not wearing any makeup <laughs> at all. I love, I love makeup, but I don't have any... I never had a school no, gate problem yeah, yeah. not wearing... You know, I, I, I'm, I sort of... My kids grew up in, in Cheshire, and the Cheshire wives were out in force at the school gate, mm. full face. I was never into You were more like, like to turn up in your PJs, Absolutely, weren't you? Absolutely, and I did. Um, so the school in, in, in question has said uh, the head teacher, uh, Neil Morris, uh, has since removed them after admitting they were a mistake and said Ooh. the posters were put up to provide argumentative, discursive letter writing, but should have been put in the classroom instead. So he has apologised. Right. Another school style dilemma. Uh, Madonna is in the papers today for her new relationship with 29-year-old boxer Josh Popper, who's been training one of her children at the gym. So the question is, is it ever OK to date your children's teacher? <laughs> B? Oh, God, B's like, no. <laughs> Absolutely <laughs> not. I'm just... I just... Look, there's, there's, you know, you're working... I think there's... That, that children are under enough pressure as it is in school without being bullied or picked on because there's favouritism because your mum or your dad's dating might... I just don't think that that's right. Let them be at school and then if you fancied them then, maybe five years later, you'll fancy them then and mm -hmm. if it's meant to be... You'd, you'd be... wait the five... Would you wait the five years? Mm. <laughs> 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 I think... Would you have, if you'd fancied them I and you'd both fancied each other, <laughs> yeah. would, and I'm talking about if there was no other other halves, other partners, yeah. would you have sneakily no, seen him for no, secretly? No, secretly. Oh, I no, would have, yeah. No, because it's <laughs> going to come out. It will come out. It will. It's your teacher. What would, you, what, like, would you, what would you do? Parents see mm. things going to take on a whole new ball game. Yeah, no. <laughs> 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 yeah, but yeah, it's just it's kind of juicy. <coughs> I don't know. I haven't got. I, I don't think I'll ever be in this dilemma. So I can sit here and say, uh, it sounds fun. It sounds fun. <laughs> <laughs> It sounds fun. <laughs> it sounds fun. Not for the kids, maybe. So you know, for the adults involved. Oh, yeah. okay. Because what's interesting is that um, at the kids' school, and there are loads of other schools that I know do this, that when you've got like parents all get together for like a you know a get together, a class drinks or a whole year drinks or what have you, the teachers aren't allowed to go, just because it, they, it, they feel like it's crossing the line. I get it. Mm -hmm. You know, having your teacher sort of maybe slightly tipsy, being around the parents, they just don't think it will sit very well. It's for disaster. I yeah. yeah. I mean, I used to feel sorry for the kids who occasionally had a mum or a dad who was a teacher as well. They always felt yeah. really uncomfortable. We had, a, we had a little boy whose dad was a teacher and he used to be absolutely mortified. So, um, so no, I do I, I do. Accept well, we did that. do a poll on this. Uh, question being, anything wrong with dating your child's teacher? <laughs> yes, said 58%. Ooh. And no, 42%. Uh, that's quite surprising. Yeah. That's, that's, yeah. that's less of a split than I but thought also, it was going to be. But also, if you're on your own, if you're, you know, if you're a single parent, yeah. you know, yeah. and there is an availability, yeah. and the availability and happens to be at the front of the school. Just keep it on, on the download. <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> the lesson according to Denzi is keep <laughs> it on the download.